Hey guys, Ken Tamplin from Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. We are back again here at Costa Mesa Studios with my buddy Nick Feinberg, uh, who's the mix engineer. Awesome studio, recommend it highly. Um, we're going to do a takedown of Dio. Now, I don't profess that I'm as awesome as Dio, so please don't think that. I just want to show you the kind of compression that he used. Uh, and I didn't, I waited on this one because he's probably the most requested rock vocalist by far of any of the people that have asked me to, to sing uh, something of his. And, um, but I, I changed the, his lyrics to second person because um, for me, it was uncomfortable singing some of the dark lyrics that he has and it's his thing, whatever, but it's not my thing. But I wanted to sh show you what it is that he used and how he used his, his glottal compression open throat technique. Um, so Nick, if we could just do this, um, we'll talk about it after. Um, and there you go, let's do it, here we go. Okay, so, you know, we've got a guy who's a master at glottal compression, and he uses open throat technique. Now, whether he realized it or not, he claims he had no vocal lessons, that's neither here nor there. He still uses some really amazing compression. Um, it's a little deceiving because um, you it, it, it gives the, uh, the, the sort of impression that um, he's singing a lot louder and harder than he really, so let it out! He's actually compressing his sound. And by the way, if you notice my voice is like crystal clear, I'm not going, so let it out. 
because he's not letting that much air pass across the court. Now, he's got monstrous diaphragmatic support. Um, and if you notice, too, he's using open throat uh, phrases. Uh, so let it out. Ah! He's got all this open throat stuff where he's not overusing. He's not over accentuating vowel and consonant sounds. And he's keeping his throat open through his vowel phrases. Ah! He's not going. Which will kill us. And he's not, in fact, can you hear like quickly sort of how that kind of hurt my throat a little bit? So um, it's not throwing the sound to the front of the cord. What he's done is he's got everything tucked up into the back of his head, like we talk about in Ken Templin Vocal Academy in the How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else course. What we do is we take those sounds and we modify these vowel sounds to give us the ability to sing this, but we compress the air. We don't over sing this stuff. You know, let it out. I don't do that. Let it out. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm actually holding back my breath. I'm actually holding my air, literally holding my breath as I do this so that I can get through all this and be able to sing it end to end. And then I have um, uh, things that uh, create uh, vowel modifications where we can go up in range and give me the ability to sing up top. So with that said, um, Ronnie James Dio, you know, God bless him. God rest his soul. Um, but anyway, I waited a while on doing his because um, just out of respect, I didn't feel like jumping on the bandwagon and everyone else rushing out and, and doing, um, you know, Ronnie James Dio stuff. And uh, maybe one of the greatest rock and roll singers of all all time. Um, I'm not sure how many people will be able to rise to what Ronnie did, and I pray he's in a good place. So thank you for joining me, KenTamplinVocalAcademy.com, and more to come. Thank you.